What's going on guys? In today's video, we're going to be learning how to make clean looking 3D text that looks something like this. I love this text effect. It's pretty easy to do. It takes a few steps, it takes a minute, but I think that the result is pretty worth it. It kind of pops off the screen in almost a new morphic way, um, but in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can apply it to text. And it's a little bit of a different process than creating new morphic buttons. So let's get into the video. So first what you're going to do is open up Illustrator and you can see that I have this already open um, to show you guys an example of kind of what we're going to be making today. So this is kind of going to be our final product, but we're going to start from scratch in this. So we'll hit Command N to open up a new document. We're just going to do a thousand by a thousand, but you can really do whatever size you want. But depending on the size that you do, you're going to have to adjust these values. So if you want to follow along exactly, I would open a thousand by a thousand document. And we're going to start by creating a background for us to work off of. So select your rectangle tool or hit M on the keyboard to bring that up quickly with a hotkey. And then just drag it right over your artboard. We're going to get rid of the stroke. And we're going to add a gradient. So click over here on the gradient button. And then once you've applied your gradient, we're going to do some adjustments because obviously we don't want it to be just black and white. So what we'll do is select this first one, we'll just click on it, and then double click fill. And I already have these values picked out, so I'm just going to type in the hex code so you guys can follow along exactly. So what we're going to do is type in 3D4A61, so 3D4A61, that's going to be our first color. And then for our second one, we'll just click over here on our other gradient slider, double click this, and do for the hex value 5769. 8a. And those will be our two, uh, two gradient colors and we're also going to want to change this to a 45 degree angle so I think it kind of gives it uh, some nicer movement. I would definitely do 45 degrees but not necessary. Then what we'll do is lock this background in so we can't bump it anymore. You can do that quickly by hitting command 2. And then from here we're going to type some text so just bring up your type tool, click on the screen and I'm going to do 3d but you can type whatever you'd like. This works for anything really. And then we're just going to size it up so it's around here. And switch it from Myriad Pro to Helvetica Noia. And you don't want to go with anything too thin. I think this works a lot better with like a bold type. If you want this exact type size, you can type in, uh, let's make this a nice even 495. So uh, you guys can follow along if you'd like. Cool. And now that we have that. What we're going to do is actually switch this color so that it's kind of similar to our background. It doesn't stand out too much. So we'll just go over to our fill. And for our hex value, we'll type in 475570. And that'll give us uh, kind of a, a nice fill for the text that doesn't stand out too much from the background. So the first thing that we're going to do is add our initial drop shadow. So to do that, you can either come to your effects panel up here and stylize drop shadow. But since I have it over here, I'm just going to do it this way. You know, stylize, drop shadow. And for our X offset, we'll do negative 10. Our Y offset, we'll do a 10. And our blur, we're going to leave at 10 pixels as well. And for the color, we'll just go straight to black. For our opacity on this guy, we're going to go all the way up to 35. Okay, and that'll be our first drop shadow but we're going to add two more to this. So what we'll do is copy this text by hitting Command C and then Command F, which will place the new layer of text directly on top of it. So for our next drop shadow, we're just going to edit it by clicking the drop shadow over here. Again, if you don't have it over here, you can go up to your top panel. And then for this X offset, we're going to do negative 30 and positive 30 for the Y offset. And for our blur, we're going to want to type in 30. Then we'll add one more drop shadow to this by hitting Command C and Command F, which is again going to place it directly in front. And we'll edit this drop shadow and we'll do negative 45 for the X offset. So negative 45. And then uh, for the Y offset, we'll do 45. And I just realized that I forgot to shift the opacity on the second layer, so I'm going to have to go back and do that really quickly. So for the second layer, what we're going to do is actually drop the opacity down to 20%. And we're going to do the same for this third layer. We'll open up our drop shadow again, and we'll do a 45 pixel blur. 
and lower this opacity down to 20%. Okay, great. Now that we have the dark side of our drop shadows, what we'll do is add the lighter side. So again, we're just going to copy this top layer by Command C and Command F, which will paste it directly in front. We're going to add it this drop shadow, change the color to a pure white. If you want, you can type in the hex code FFF or else just drive or else just drag the color picker up to the top left corner. Hit OK. And for this, what we're going to do is a positive 8 X offset and a negative 8 Y offset. We're going to put the blur at 10 pixels. Oh, accidentally close that out. And the opacity we're going to drop down to maybe 10%. Okay, great. And that's looking pretty good. It's popping off the screen, but we're going to add one last final touch by adding an inner glow. So we'll hit Command C and Command F again to paste it directly in front. We're going to delete that extra drop shadow and we're going to add an inner glow. So head over to your effects panel, either up here or over here. Hit Stylize and Inner Glow. So what we're going to do is make sure our blend mode is normal. We're going to take the opacity to 5% and the pixel blur to 15 pixels and then we will make sure that our color is pure white so the hex code for that is FFF, FFF, hit OK and yeah we're pretty much done. Now you kind of have your 3D text it's really nice looking, it's super simple, super clean and it pops off the screen really really well. Um, this is one of my favorite text effects honestly it's a super clean, minimalist design. I think it works really well in a lot of cases. It's not necessarily the most readable. You probably wouldn't want to use it for like a body font or even like a subheader or something like that. But uh, if you're going to make like a title or something like that, it's really good looking text. And I think it works in a lot of cases. So yeah, that's pretty much it for this video, guys. If you wouldn't mind leaving a like below for the YouTube algorithm, that would be very much appreciated. And if you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments below. Uh, I always get back to everybody within like the first hour or so of you guys posting, so uh, feel free to leave a comment, and I'll get back to you with any questions you might have, and yeah, uh, if you're interested in more content like this, it'd be sweet if you'd subscribe to the channel, and uh, I guess I'll catch you guys in the next one. Later.